What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today was my day off, and I was out and about, went and picked up my mail again, and stopped by uh, one of my favorite locksmiths, actually my very favorite locksmith, <laughs> and uh, he gave me this nice big box full of locks, and there's there's a bunch of stuff in here, uh, I'm just going to go through this really quickly, uh, show you something I got from eBay, and then I have a package from K1 Locks, so um, this box of locks I was given by the uh, locksmith. It's got a bunch of, um, I'm not sure what kind of keyway that is. I'll have to find keys for some of these. But a bunch of locks in here, a couple of more pieces, another uh, nice LSDA. I've had a couple of these, they're really nice. And uh, a bunch of kick cylinders, I mean just a ton of them. Um, some of them have keys at work. This one I actually thought it was a Primus at first because the key is a uh, Primus key but it's just a regular schlag. So, had my hopes up for a second there. I thought it was an actual Primus. <laughs> uh, there is a Medico in here with uh, no key, and an Asa Twin in here also with no key. There's the Asa Twin with no key. So, a uh, bunch of nice stuff there. At bare minimum, challenge locks for sure. We've got some uh, LA style, we got some RUs, a couple of Corbins, a couple of Russians, schlags. A Yale, LSDA, all that good stuff. Anyway, so that was the uh, freebies for today. The next thing was um, from eBay. And uh, a lot of you know I like to make my own picks, so I just went and ordered a roll of 25 thousandths uh, star at feeler gauge. This is the stuff you're supposed to use, the, probably the best stuff to use for making your own picks. This is uh, very high carbon steel with... Um, the right 25 thousandths thickness and uh, really good hardness so stuff is really good it's not cheap but uh, I'm gonna make some nice picks out of it instead of the uh, ones I normally make or they're all right but uh, nowhere near as nice steel as that so there's that it's uh, start if you want the uh, product code it's 666-25 and the dash after 666 is just how many thousandths it is so, um, you know, like 15 would be 15 thousandths, 20 would be 20 thousandths. So if you're looking for it, that's uh, how you search. And move this stuff out of the way. And let's get to this awesome package from K1 Locks. So a lot of you uh, might not have heard of K1 Locks. He's a new lock picker. Sorry about that, guys. I actually flipped the box over and uh, forgot that I hadn't covered up the information. So I'll cut that part out. But uh, anyway, this is a package from K1 Locks. And uh, if any of you haven't heard of K1 Locks yet, he's a relatively new lock picker on the scene. So I encourage you guys to go over to his channel, check him out, watch his videos, subscribe, all that good stuff. Support him. Got to support our new lock pickers. Uh, seems to be a pretty cool guy. And uh, I sent a package out to him, and he received it today. And uh, I received his package today. So let's see what he sent me. I know. Uh, you know, he's relatively new, and like he said in the emails, uh, he doesn't have a lot, so I'm not expecting too much here. Anything is really cool. I think I might have his first challenge lock here. Uh, so we'll find out what's going on here. I think this is one of his uh, left-handed tension wrenches that he makes. Uh, just going to dump all this out. So, of course, there'll be a link up in the corner uh, to his channel. Go check them out, K1 Locks. And uh, let's see what he sent. So we have a quick set Mortise cylinder. That's been taped up here with some duct tape. And is challenge lock number one, B R R K E, Burke. Pronounced Burke. <laughs> yeah, pinned by K1 Locks. Right on. So. Uh, we have a mummied key, and we have a quick set. And we'll see. Maybe that'll be an out-of-the-box picking. Uh, we have, it looks like a Master Commercial Series. And another uh, rim cylinder. Uh, we have a rekeyable. Master commercial lock, which probably isn't uh, that rough. None of them are really, but uh, maybe he put some extra pins in there for us or something. Because normally they're just standard pins, so 
Maybe you put serrateds in there or something. Who knows? We'll find out sooner or later. We have a quick set that's uh, a little catchy, so I don't know if he's done any work to this or not. It's pretty decent bidding. But um, I'll definitely pick that open sometime, too. We also have... more cylinders here. We have a, this looks like steel pinnings maybe. Oh, Big Willie the locksmith. I haven't picked one of his yet. So this is uh, Big Willie. Uh, looks like a quick set. And uh, a mummied key. That's uh, a little bit showing, but eh, that don't matter. I won't peek. So that's a Big Willie challenge lock. That's awesome. I haven't picked one of those yet. And a U.S. lock, which has got an L.A. keyway, sergeant keyway. And uh, pretty decent bidding. It feels feels standard, so maybe not a challenge lock, but uh, eh, we'll find out sooner or later. But uh, to do this video justice, oh, actually, don't forget the uh, left-handed tensor wrench. I'm not left-handed, but... Uh, Tension wrenches are always good, and you never know what kind of weird position you might be in when trying to pick, so it's good to have a bunch of different tension wrenches around. And, yeah, this one's got a lot of nice twists and turns in it. Uh, looks like you'd be able to put this in a bunch of different directions. That'll, it'll work uh, right-handed as well. That's probably for your left hand. I would guess. Yeah, cool. So, that is the uh, very cool tension wrench. A lot of nice twists and turns. I will probably use that sometime as well. But, I am going to try his challenge lock out of the box here. And, um, you guys don't know, what I like to do when I receive a package is uh, just put all the items that I receive back in the box that it was sent in. And that way I know where they came from, who sent them, and what I've got left to pick. So I have uh, Trek Masters box over there, and now I've got K1's box here. And soon in the next few days I'll have Pickney's box. But let's get into this quick set. Try anyway. Everybody knows quick set Quick sets are uh, pretty deceiving when you make them a challenge locks. Normally, quick sets are not very hard to get into, but uh, make it into a challenge lock, and then it becomes a lot harder. This is a kick cylinder um, in a kick holder. So I'm not sure if he's okay sending me his kick holder, but I've got it now. So <laughs> I'll go talk to the keyway here. And I have to assume there's some kind of... Sorry about that, guys. I was just chucking up the uh, lock in the vise and my phone rang. So uh, <laughs> you might notice the angle of the camera changed a little bit and uh, there's a break in the footage. But not much I could do about that when you use your camera to record. I'll rake in some of that goodness. Uh, top of the keyway going on here, and I'm going to use one of the picks Trek Master made for me. It's a short hook, and hopefully, it's not too short. We'll find out. Top of the keyway here, start at the back and give it some love. Pin one is feels like there's no spring in it or something, but it's probably just not binding yet. So keep going until I can get it to bind. I think I just did there a little bit. Oh, 
bit more out of one and it kicked over a bit. These back ones don't feel like they want to go anywhere. Um, Got a three there. And we're open on five. All right, that was uh, weird. <laughs> I didn't feel a lot of feedback or anything. Um, there was clicking, so I'd have to guess probably uh, serrations, maybe, maybe some threading. Uh, let's see what K1 locks put in here. And this is his first lock, so I'm going to... Uh, Check the key. I'm going to lock it up and check the key. Because I'm going to be thorough on his first, on his first lock here. Oh, I thought it was electrical tape. It's actually duct tape. So. Got to be uh, pretty vigilant taking this one off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice bidding, man. That's crazy. Oh, it works nice. Works nice and smooth. Good job. Very good job. Clip off. A key in. And I'm not sure what kind of madness he put in here, so I'm going to shim it. Always a safe bet. Plug follower here. And we have a six pin with ooh, construction. It's a construction core, so um, normally there's probably no T pins in here, but if there was, normally you would uh, seal those up with epoxy just in case. Because if something drops in there, then you're hooped. Oh, number five is on the shear line. On the shear line. And everything else is down from the shear line, but still relatively low, so that's probably why I didn't have to do a lot of playing around. There's no real uh, deep cuts in there. Oh, well, one is pretty good. Anyway, let's see what they look like. They're all standard so far. What? I loop this guy up good. That tri flow, like a little bit of tri flow, goes a long way. All over the place. I also rake it in there after just to make sure it gets everywhere. Uh, we have threading in six, uh, counter milling in two. is all I see. There might be a tiny bit of counter milling on one and three. They seem more like ridges than, than counter milling. Oh no, I guess it's threading. It's light threading in one. Counter milling in two, definitely. Threading in three. Four is standard. Five is standard. And six is counter mill, or uh, sorry, threaded. So that's pretty good. He did a bit of work to the plug. My tweezers here. And crap. Really good spring pressure there. That was a serrated. Almost looked like a factory serrated there. Jeez. Factory spool, which I did not feel that spool. Oh, we got varying springs too. That's cool. Jeez, these springs are just insane. <laughs> There's a uh, another serrated, another steel spring, 
See if I could stop this one from flying out, maybe. There we go. Get more vigilant here. A mushroom pin. These look factory, but um, he switched up the pin types. Holy crap, fired out the back. That is a standard in five. Which makes sense because that was our uh, overset trap. And you want to have a standard there to make it easier to overset. Nice short copper in five. And another serrated in six. With a steel spring. So that is what K1 Lock put in. I'm on focus. Sorry guys, phone rang again. Uh, I'm not going to say who it was because she watches my videos. But uh, <laughs> So anyway, this is what K1 put in this lock. Uh, let me focus in here. There we go. It looks like a bunch of factory pins, uh, just well placed in the lock. We got some uh, serrateds, three serrateds. We got a spool, a mushroom, and a standard. And then standard pins down on the bottom. Varying spring pressure, so that was good too. And, uh, like, let me tell you guys, a normal quick set is about, you know, 15 to 30 seconds. So, however long it took me, that's how much time he added on to this lock, uh, just by paying it up. Nice and special like that. So, good job. Good job on your first lock. Um, thank you, K1 Locks, for, um, sending me this package with all this good stuff and uh thanks everyone else for watching make sure you go visit his channel um up in the corner i'll post the link as his icon you can click on it and it'll take you over to his channel and if for whatever reason you can't click on it just go down to your settings and turn your annotations on and then you should be able to click on it all right guys later